Nestled in a quaint little corner of Upper Aljunied Road is a coffee shop that houses one of Singapore's most well-known claypot rice names. On this episode of Eating Out with Hawkopedia, we are going to check out Broadway Claypot Rice. So let's go! So Broadway Claypot has been around for quite a while. They started out in Ang Mo Kio and have close to four decades of history. If you're in the business for that long, you got to be doing something right. So as you can see, there are various portion sizes and different types of clay pot rice to choose from. And man, if we could only send smells through a video because it really smells so good. Due to the nature of the clay pot, heat is evenly distributed and maintained. Plus, the rice develops a wonderful crust at the bottom. So I'm going to start digging in first with this beef clay pot rice. The right way to eat this is to get all those ingredients and the clay pot rice all mixed in. And uh, oh, the best part of your clay pot rice is the burnt little bits at the bottom. Okay, so now I've got everything mixed in. You're gonna get a nice big mouthful here. Mm. That's good. The beef is still very tender and it's a nice aroma from the clay pot. You know, every time you cook something in clay pot, you get that smell, that aroma, that fragrance, and this definitely has that. And to show us how to enjoy a traditional clay pot rice is the owner, Candy. Ooh, okay. So as you can see, there are different ways to enjoy a clay pot rice. I just mixed mine all in, but uh, Candy showed us that if you want to get the best bits at the bottom, those crispy bits, you got to get all the chicken out and then scrape everything out into this nice bowl. So this has more crispy bits compared to what I got in my beef bowl. So you can get two types of clay pot chicken rice here. You can get the regular chicken, or if you're feeling fancy, you can get kampung chicken with your clay pot chicken rice. So I've got a piece of chicken right here. That chicken meat is uh, so nice and tender, nice and sweet with that sauce. And again, that clay pot fragrance is, oh man, so good. Yeah, a small little bit of chili. Okay, and that should be a heavenly bite. As you're enjoying your clay pot rice, you may notice that it's all one colour and there's not much vegetables. But that's why they also offer some blanched tai sin. Nice healthy serving of vegetables. Mm. It's crunchy rice, crunchy vegetables. Yeah, you can't go wrong. In case you are not in the mood for clay pot rice today, you can check out their curry or their braised pork trotters. The owner recommended me to try the curry. She says it's different from typical chicken curries. A little taste. Let's see if I can spot what the owner says it's different about her curry. Mm-hmm. It's got a Hainanese curry kind of taste. Hainanese curry is not so much on the creamy side. It usually has a bit of that spicy aroma. It's not spicy per se, but it has an aroma of different types of spices in it. But I also taste a tinge of sweetness that is usually not found in this type of curries. And I'm guessing that that sweetness almost comes from like a Japanese kind of curry. Mm. So the interesting thing about this curry is got Japanese flavors, Hainanese flavors. It's like if a Hainanese person and a Japanese person got married, this would be their beautiful curry baby. So moving on now, we have the braised pork trotters. Look at that, nice big chunks of pork trotters. Let's go with the sauce, right there. And uh, let's taste this sauce first. Mm. Okay, sauce is really good. It's a very sweet, savory kind of sauce. Tastes like something your mom would make at home. Very homely kind of taste. Ooh. Check that out. Gelatinous, porky goodness right there. Oh, it's breaking apart. Gelatinous, collagen goodness, tender bits of pork. That sauce, man, that sauce, it brings everything together. You know, everything here is so good. I have no idea which I love more. If you want to try all these awesome dishes out, come on down to 391 Upper Aljunied Road to check out Broadway Claypot Rice. And if you don't live around here, they've got other addresses around Singapore. Also, check out their outlet at Ang Mo Kio Avenue 10 
for an extended zizha menu in addition to their clay pot rice. And if you're not up for a full meal, you can always check out their handmade curry puffs. But that's it for this episode of Eating Out with Hawkopedia. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Remember to like and share.